Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid review 20 MH12. Quick wristwatch check. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing a Patek Philippe 5196. Okie dokie. Uh, this here is a paid review. Dear Archie, I hope life is treating you well uh, lately and congratulations on your Patek collection. My name is uh, Evangelos. Currently living in the UK, working as an engineer, <clears throat> both in the industry as well as academia. I'm a little nerdy, but in, very into watches, Asian food and Asian women. Still happily married with a Chinese one. Very good. I'm sending you 50 US dollars for review of my collection, Revision 2, as it has been slightly updated from the last time you reviewed it two years ago, the Engineer's Wristwatch Collection. Admittedly, I really enjoyed watching your reviews, so why not re-review my collection? I hope my choices will inspire you a little so that you can create a video for me. My watches haven't changed radically since your last review. A few pieces were added to improve the collection. Not so much in terms of function, but mainly in terms of style and color variation. I currently own seven watches, which I call six plus one, considering that my box is six positions plus one on the wrist. Yes, that's that's an archaism. Specifically, as per the last review, I own Omega Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch, 42 mil Helsolite glass, new from Grey Market, 2016. Number two, Jager Le Coutre Reverso Ground Tourley, 37 mil. Well, it's, it's hard to measure these things, but because it's a rectangular. Manual wine, new from AD, heavily discounted, 2017. IWC Ingenua, 3228. 40 mil sapphire glass case back, second hand from Time Zone UK Forum, 2009 model. Rolex Oyster Court, 17,000, 36 mil, second hand from a dealer. 1989, last of the last, I uh, suspect. A Longines 994, much, not much info. 1978, inherited from my dad. I also bought the same one, which incorporated a bracelet <clears throat> at the case for a change. Since then, since then, I've added two more pieces uh, that I like a lot. These are Rolex, Rolex, Rolex Submarina 14060M, no date, V serial number with engraved rehard pre ceramic model i bought second hand from a uk dealer box no papers but with a rolex service repeat receipt it is probably one of the most versatile uh watches and possibly one of the most recognizable among the collection i really love wearing it at numerous numerous uh, circumstances as it matches with everything. Bought to celebrate my new era as a contractor and engineer for a large Canadian corporation. Number two, second new, we've got a Rolex, 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 Rolex Datejust, one, two, six, three, three, four, Jubilee bracelet, blue dial with batten indices, very recent purchase. I bought this new from a local AD after waiting on a list for not so long, a couple of weeks. I love the blue dial and the Jubilee bracelet, which makes it very classy and versatile. I bought that for no reason, to be honest. Just wanted to buy something nice for me. I'm currently 37, and I plan not to buy any more watches until I become 40. I am confident that I will keep my word and patiently until and wait patiently until that point. My next move is to upgrade some more part of the collection rather than simply add pieces. Specifically, I'm planning to replace the Gerald Genta IWC with another Gerald design, the Royal Oak Strictly 39mm, either steel or gold. Preferably the second, another option is to risk and try the rare Rolex 5100. I like the shape of it towards the direction I would probably replace the Oyster Quartz and the IWC with that. What are your thoughts about the collection art? Please be sincere and straightforward. Does the collection pop or flops? Honestly, after all this, what makes you differ? What makes you differ from all watch charlatans on YouTube? Comments and recommendations are welcome and highly appreciated. Keep up the good work. Commenting on watch collection. Thank you in advance. Best regards, Evangelis. P.S. Please see my collection photos attached. Um, 
beautiful. Okay, 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 okay. So we've got quite quite a collection here. Number one, Evangelos. One thing that really annoys me about this collection, you've got a Chinese wife. I love I love Asian women. You gotta buy her a Rolex, man. You gotta buy her a Rolex. I gotta tell you this now, man. You need to get her a Rolex real quick smart because, man, you can't have all these watches. Um, you haven't told me whether you got one or haven't got one. You've got to tell me the truth. So I, I would like to see you buy an Oyster Perpetual. It doesn't need to be two-tone. It can be steel. I, I actually, I would highly recommend steel because you can use it. She can use it all the time. Forget the date. You don't need a date. Steel Oyster Perpetual. Get one for her. It can either be mid-size or it can be the traditional... I prefer the traditional lady size. But, hey, I would definitely get a watch for your wife. Please, don't be stingy. Don't be mean. Get one for your happily married Chinese one. Okay? Please, please get one. Okay? That's what I would highly recommend. Look, I think you've added some beautiful pieces, okay? Rolex sub, no date. Last of the last. Man, I think the maxi case doesn't work on the sub as good as it works on the GMT. So I think the V serial number, last of the no dates, pre-ceramic, beautiful. The date just, i got to be totally, totally, totally honest with you. Absolutely love a date just, particularly with the blue. I love blue. Look at this. I, I love, look, can, can you not see that I love blue? And I've got my paddock on. It's on a blue strap. I just love blue. Okay. Um, look, date just, absolutely. That's a beautiful watch. It's a dress watch. Any. Any wristwatch today, it's not 1996, any analog wristwatch, analog meaning it's got hour hand and minute, minute hand, is a dress watch. Okay, let's be totally honest here. So, I've got to be uh, really straightforward with you. I, I think you've got a really nice collection. Um, I've got to be honest with you. I quite am, I'm impressed by the Oyster Quartz. I love the seven. I've actually owned a few Oyster Quartz. I had a 17013. That's the two-tone. And I briefly had a 17014. That's the steel with the white gold bezel. <clears throat> Beautifully engineered watch. Beautifully engineered. I, I, I love that. Now, i got to be honest with you. Let's have a look at a few things. I Okay, so, so you bought two Rolexes. You're 37. Well, we're headed, We're in a depression. Get your wife a watch. I can't stress that enough. Get your wife a watch. Uh, the next move is to upgrade. Now, let's have a look at this. We're planning to replace the Gentra IWC with the Royal Oak. i got to be totally honest with you. Don't do it. Don't do it. I actually love the Ingenua IWC. I love it. I had the 42 with the in-house movement. If you were going to change yours to that, fair enough. But I wouldn't sell it to get a Royal Oak. Uh, i got to be honest with you. I really dislike Royal Oaks. Very, very delicate. Very sensitive. I would not... I would not <clears throat> advise you to go down that track. I would keep the IWC. Okay? Keep the IWC. <clears throat> IWC is also, the resale is not great. So what, what's the point? What's the point in selling it? You're going to enjoy owning it. That is a very cool watch. It's a very cool watch. So I, I wouldn't be on such a, no, I, I wouldn't do that. I would, and we're, we're in a depression now. I wouldn't be buying AP. AP i got to be honest with you, I fucking think AP is garbage, okay? I really, yeah, I, I, I like some of the APs, but they just, don't, I would not go AP. Don't go AP, okay? Um, it's a more inferior, your IWC is a much better watch. Believe you me, I've owned fucking both. I've owned IWC and I've owned APs, and APs, 
Leave a lot to be desired. <clears throat> okay, your second second option is another option is is to risk and try the rare Rolex fifty one hundred. The fifty one hundred, of course, was the early quartz. Early quartz. Uh, you like the shape, and if it goes forward, I would replace both the oyster quartz and the idea. Okay, now seriously, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, for starters. You've got a last, the, the Oyster Quartz, you got one from 1989. I would keep that, okay? Look, look, seriously, watch investing, buying vintage like that. If that circuit goes, it's unrepairable, okay? I would stay with, if, if you're going to buy a Quartz Rolex, because Rolex has abandoned Quartz, I would get the last of the Oyster Quartz. You've already got that, just keep that. <laughs> <clears throat> I wouldn't go <clears throat> for the 5100. You could go for the rare bird, rare bird that Clive's got. No, I wouldn't do that. Just stay with what you've got. I, I don't think that's a sensible way to go. I think you're just bored. Yes, it's nice to, to look at it and say, but there's so many of those have been fucked with. If it goes wrong, it's going to, it's just not a good idea. So I, I, I honestly would say to you, that's stupid. I think you're just bored. Um, okay, so, so don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, now the reason I'm saying that is you've got fucking beautiful, 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 beautiful pieces. Don't fucking sell them to buy. The AP, that's just attention grab. And the 5100, I'd stay with your Oyster Quartz. Believe you me. Believe you me. What are your thoughts about the collection? I like it. I really like it. I really like it. Um... Oh, no, 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 I say that sincerely. You've got an Amiga Speedmaster, a Reverso Grand Tourley Classic, IWC, Oyster Quartz, the Long Jeans is your dad's watch, okay? You've got a Sub No Date, a Date Just. Man, you've got a beautiful little collection there. What would I add? <clears throat> what would I add? I tell you what I would add. I would add possibly an Explorer 2. That's what I would add, an Explorer 2. Forget trading and selling things off. <clears throat> you don't want to sell IWC, their weak brand. You don't want to buy AP, their fucking garbage. And I, if you've got a nice oyster quartz that's in nice condition, I wouldn't fucking sell it, okay? Um, I think it pops. You've got well, What I like about the collection is you've got some very, very, very good beacons the icons, you've got the icons. The Speedmaster is an, I is an icon. The Jega Le Coutre is an icon. The Grand Tourley, I love that. The Inji is, is an icon for IWC. Oyster Quartz is an icon. Sub is an, I an icon. And you've got another Datejust. They're all icons. I'd probably, well, instead of getting Explorer 2, which isn't really the icon probably get a GMT, if you can get a GMT Rolex, maybe a Tudor Black Bay Pepsi, <clears throat> that'd come in at nice, that's a nice watch to have, get the wife a watch, get the wench a whist watch, get the wife a whist watch, please man, I'm, 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 I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed you didn't get one, okay, get her one, it'll improve your sex life, okay, okay, that's, that's honestly, you want one a day? You want to pop once a day? You fucking buy them a Rolex. Sex for life. It's simple, simple, simple. Um, okay. I don't, don't, don't buy and sell. <clears throat> you, this market is terrible, and I don't think you. Look, I've got to be completely honest with you. You're, you're a doctor, okay? You're a doctor in engineering. You're a little bit pompous in that. You will get skinned alive by the UK watch dealers. <laughs> don't be trading. You haven't got enough cunt in you to trade properly. Don't don't trade. Do not trade. Um, <clears throat> I like it. I like the collection. What would I add? What would I add? What would I add? I'll tell you what I would add, okay? This is what I would do, okay? So, <clears throat> 37 years old, I would add, maybe for your 40th, add a... You can do two things. We're in the middle of a fucking coronavirus. We could be world depression. If you don't have a huge amount of money, but you're still middle class, I'd get a Tudor Black Bay Pepsi. 
Now you might want to get that before you turn 40 anyhow because it's 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 not super expensive. But if you wait for your 40th and you got you've got good money, I'd get a Rolex GMT. Okay? Probably ceramic black black black. That's what appeals. That's what I reckon is the coolest one with the green 24-hour hands. Now, now 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 get the wife a fucking oyster perpetual. Please do that. And what I would do is for your 50th Patek Philippe 5196 gold wristwatch Patek. Come on, that's what you need to do. Get a Patek. Get a Patek. That's what you need to do. But for your 50th or be just before your 50th, you need a gold Patek. Get a Calatrava 5196. Absolutely beautiful. But before you get there, you got to get the fucking wife a fucking Rolex Oyster Perpetual and I'd get a I'd get a I would get a GMT. Tudor, Pepsi, GMT, if money's a bit tight. If not, get the black, black, black ceramic. I reckon that's that's what I would be doing. That's what I would be doing. <clears throat> so that's, <coughs> there you go. <clears throat> that's my opinion there. Lovely collection. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with any of that. You've got beautiful pieces. You should be happy. You should be very, very happy. It's a beautiful collection. Get the fucking wife! I can't stress this enough. Get the fucking wife a Rolex. She's Chinese. They're... Come on, man. I, 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 come on. Come on. If you're wondering why, you know, I've always given my bitches a Rolex and I want service. I want fucking service every fucking night. That is the rules of engagement. You buy them the toys... I want the fun. That's what you need to do, man. Seriously. Bitches who won't fuck are no good to me. Okay? This is the fucking rules of engagement. Okay, so that's 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 now I've given you the life lesson. That's what I would do. Nice collection. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. And I would highly recommend getting your wife a Rolex, but you expect a, a pop every night. Pop every night. That's, that's the rules, man. Uh, <clears throat> guys, man cannot live on Google Ads. With coronavirus, YouTube, Google Ad revenue is through the floor. No one's advertising. I really depend on these paid reviews to keep me going. So, um, please... Get a paid review done. It will make me stay here. Instead, I'll have to go and pack shelves or do something else because men cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW.
Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was, but most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination.